The month of May is National Mobility Awareness Month. Riley Nagel spoke with a man who, after having his leg amputated due to complications from type 2 diabetes, recently regained his independence and he seems to be back to loving life. As we speak and today, I've had my truck back for 65 days. I've got over 2,800 miles on this truck. I, go, I, go, I can go anywhere and this, there's no stopping me. After a year and six months of losing his mobility, Mike Tiffany says he's back. Large and in charge. There we go. Mike's big personality was never meant to be stuck at home, but unfortunately, after being diagnosed with rapid onset diabetes a few years ago, Mike's left leg was amputated in March 2019, confining him to a wheelchair. I couldn't go anywhere. My truck is out in front, 15 feet away from me, at my home, my apartment, and I couldn't get to it. Embarrassed by having people pick him up, Mike knew his new lifestyle was not going to work. So he called up Willard's Garage, who works with Braun Ability, a company which customizes wheelchair vans, to install a wheelchair hopper and an electric chair into his truck. The first day I got it back, I jumped on that seat, got launched up into it, and I said, Houston, <laughs> prepare for launch. Not only did Mike get a new lease on life, but he's doing it in style with a custom skin from Ace's Image Branding, specific to his identity. I always like the reveal of the finished product is always one of my favorite parts of the job when the customer actually gets to roll up and see uh, what they have going on and, and the finished product and he's just been beside himself and excited ever since. And I said, this is perfect, right? This is who I am. Missing leg and everything right here. This is all me. Though Mike has his freedom back, he says losing his leg was his fault for not paying attention to the warning signs of his rapid onset diabetes. Kimberly Ackerman, a nurse practitioner with Billings Clinic, explains the toll untreated diabetes can have on the body. Where we lose sensation in our feet and our legs, and this is where then we end up with a sore on our foot that we didn't know anything about. And eventually when we do know something about it, it sometimes can be too late and that's where we end up with an amputation. It's no joke. So if you have, high, you know, being a diabetic and you're high sugar, and you, you ignore it like what I did, you'll be right next to me. Even though the diagnosis changed him forever, Mike says he's eternally grateful to those who helped him get his life back. Now, I've been reborn again. You know, not only through God and Jesus Christ, but I mean, through these people that helped me out in between Braun, Scott, Willard. I mean, these guys are incredible. In Billings, Riley Nagel. Montana right now.